Hello everyone, my name is Esme Cato, and today we are going to learn how to use the range function. We use the range function when we need to do something for a specific number of times or when we want to do a sequence of numbers. And this function works great when you combine it with loops. If we decide to only put one parameter, we will get a sequence of the number of elements. For example, here we put a range of four. Maybe you were expecting a list from one to four, but like I mentioned before, Python counts this uh, parameter by number of elements, meaning that the first element that is zero is gonna count as one. One is gonna count as the second element, two as the third element, and three as the fourth element. And here we can see that the outcome was correct because we asked Python to get the range of the first four elements. When we decide to have two parameters inside our function, it is going to be really similar to the last one. The second parameter is going to be the number of elements that we want in our range. In this case, four. But the difference is that in the first parameter, we're going to tell Python with which number we would like to start. If our range function receives three parameters, Python will create a sequence that will start with the number of the first one, finish at the number of elements defined in the second, and jump between numbers depending on the size of the third parameter. And now let's check if you already mastered this function. You are sentenced to 100 years in jail for not liking pineapple on pizza. You have to use the range function to show your time by decades. And now you can pause the video and do this task by yourself. And when you're ready, you can play it again. The answer for the task is the following. For the first parameter, we're going to start with zero. Then for the second parameter, we write 101 because we want to show 101 elements, including zero. If we only write 100, we would get the list from zero to 90. And for the third parameter, we're going to write a 10 because we want to divide our sentence in decades. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, please share it in the comment section. See you later.